They're still doing it. Still doing it on their cell phones as they're driving. We're getting a closer look at the numbers that are out this morning after this pilot program. News 8's Mark Robbins, live in Hartford. His phone is on silent, I'm sure. Good morning, Mark. Yes, it is. I am not reporting and texting at the same time. I don't think I'm talented enough to do both. Uh, but I can tell you that the program that uh, the city of Hartford was part of was called uh, Phone in One Hand, Ticket in the Other. And Hartford, along with Syracuse, the two test cities in the country for this program. Uh, it was the, Hartford was the subject of the program for three months back in 2010. And then again this year in the months of March and April. And it was a combination of a police crackdown and educational campaigns, commercials, billboards, etc. And later this morning, U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood will hold a press conference call to talk about the success of the program. Here are some numbers that demonstrate that success. Cell phone use dropping 57% in the city of Hartford after the educational programs were delivered. How about texting falling 72%? That is, of course, texting while people are driving the declines based on researchers' observations and not actual police ticketing. Now, we do have some video of people that we shot on the streets of Hartford over uh, the last uh, several months. Advocates of this program are among the many who believe that texting while driving is just as dangerous, if not more so, than drunk driving. And the secretary will be emphasizing that in his phone call, along with the fact that this program does work and it should be continued in Hartford and implemented in cities throughout the country. Connecticut is not one, but there are, well, I believe, 41 states in the country that do not have laws against cell phone use and texting while driving. Reporting live in Hartford, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.